Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to create a very simple user login system using C++. So let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you have these three libraries imported because we'll be needing these for this tutorial. Next, we are going to be creating a boolean function, and it's going to be called verify login. So we're going to do bool because we want to return a boolean, a true or a false. Verify login will be the name, and then we're going to have three parameters. So I've decided to put each parameter on its own line. You don't have to do that. It's just a way to make the code fit a bit better on a smaller screen. But we're going to do const std string reference username, const std string reference password, const std string reference file name. So we've got three strings, one for the name, one for the password, and one for the file. So basically how it's going to work is if you get the username and password correct it's going to return a true otherwise it returns a false. And by correct I mean the username and password have to belong to the same record. I couldn't put the username for one person but the password for a different person and log in. That's not how it works. The username and the password have to match in the same record for a successful login. And we're, we pass by reference as opposed to passing by value because it's slightly more efficient to do by reference and we are promising not to modify the value of username or password or file name which is why we're doing const. Then we're going to do std if stream in file file name. So this line creates um, an std if stream object which is a file input stream object and this is going to read data from the file that has the name stored in our file path string. Then we're going to do if not in file, std cout fail to open file, return false. So this if statement is going to check if the file was successfully opened. If there was a problem, like the file doesn't exist or we don't have permission to read it, then we're going to execute some code that's inside this if statement. So we're going to tell the user we couldn't open the file. Then we're going to return false, which is going to automatically stop executing this function because there's no point executing the code beyond this function because there's no file that we can read. Then we're going to do std string line and std string record equals username plus comma plus password. So the first line is going to declare a string called line and we're going to store each line of the file as we read it here. And then our record is going to be another string, which is a username followed by a comma followed by a password. And it's going to be the string we'll be searching for in the file. So we'll be using data that's separated by commas. You can change the delimiter. Just make sure your file has the correct delimiter. And then you change the delimiter here. After that, we're going to do while std gets line in file and line. We're then going to do if line double equals record return true. So... This while loop reads each line from the file, std get line function reads a line from our in file object and it stores it as a string in our line variable. This loop continues until there are no more lines to read, which is why we have got the code that's going to read a line in the while loop. Because if there's no line to read, that means it becomes a false overall and therefore the while loop will terminate. Uh, if line equals record, this is checking if the record we're reading is equal to the username and password and the comma, which is our record variable here, to check if the login details we've entered are correct. If they are, return true. And when we return true, we tell the program the username and password are correct, and then we don't even need to bother continuing to read the file because... Since the login's valid, there's no point searching the rest of the file. After the while loop, if we've looped through the entire file and have not found correct login details, we return false because we couldn't find that login details that matched what we inputted. So in our main method, we've got a bit of code. We have got bool is login successful equals verify login, the, the username, the password, and then the file that contains the details. And then we do if login successful, we're going to print out login successful. Otherwise, we print out incorrect username or password. So with all of that, save your work. And if you're in Visual Studio, you can right click on your project here. Go to open folder and file explorer. And this is going to be where I'm going to place my 
file with all the login details. So I can then just reference the name of the file for the file path. But you can put the file wherever you want, just make sure you get the file path correct. Inside we have got some login details. So I'm going to copy and paste milk and cookies and then I'm going to put them for our login details. And I'm going to save and hit play. And it says login successful because those are valid login details. We're going to do Jeff and 42069. We're then going to hit play and it's incorrect. Why is it incorrect though? Well, it's actually 42060, not 42069. I baited so many people with that because I normally put 69 in all of my videos. But if you put 42060, it's login successful. Now, what if we put in Jeff, but we put in the password of credit card? So we've got the username of one user, but the password of a different user. Well, it's incorrect because they, they're not matching. Now, let's put a value that doesn't exist in here. So we'll put some numbers. And it's also incorrect. So, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And subscribe for more C++ tutorials. Thanks for watching.